Hey guys, well, my buddy Rick just bought this plane and handed me the box, asked me to build it for him, and uh, you know I like to build them, so I thought I'd just do a quick unboxing video of this for you. Um, this is the E-Flight uh, Timber. Uh, this flies on a 3-cell, uh, has a 40 amp BSC, and the thing about this one, which makes it so popular, is it is a short takeoff and landing aircraft. Um, they advertise it as can take off and land in just as little as a couple feet, so that'll be fun. Um, I know our flying field has all grown over from all the rain we had recently here in Southern California, so this will be a great flyer for the short runway we have. Um, at any rate, let me go ahead and unbox it here, show you the pieces, and um, have a look at what's going on in here. These uh, E-Flights have just gotten better and better over the years. I mean, it is just really, um, really nice to watch. Wow, this is packed pretty tight here. Let's see if I can get this stuff out without breaking anything here. Let uh, gravity do the work for me here. It's coming. Well, they sure pack it nice and tight. That's good for shipping purposes, that's for sure. Ooh. I recently, there we go. recently built their uh, 1.2 meter P47 Razorback and that was packed nice and tight also. There we go. Okay, well, if it's cold out, that'll work up a sweat and warm you up trying to get it out of the box. Good to know. Alright, now um, right at the top of it here, I broke the foam open, but this little compartment right here, we've got some nylon screws here with Phillips head. Um, not quite sure what these are for. we got some screws. We're going to keep all that together. This looks like a mount to uh, mount the wing, uh, or who knows, could be a landing gear. But this was located right up here, tucked away in a pocket. Uh, all's good with this. I'm just going to set it aside. Get this box out of the way. And let's, uh, this will be, uh, try to decipher which is top or bottom. I'm going to go with this being the top. It's got the cardboard, but we got cardboard on both sides here. So, I'm going to start on this side, find out if this is the top or the bottom. Give this a quick cutaway. And, well, I've got a wing here and some wing spars, so I'm going to start here. So, right here, we've got one of the main wings here. Again, nicely packed with foam. Not any problem with the packing. Uh, we got lights on this one. Uh, got the green, so this must be the right side here. Let's go ahead and untape this. I'm going to start pulling on everything. Now this one, I believe, comes with the floats as well as the landing gear which is super nice if you uh, are lucky enough to be near a pond or a lake that you can fly off of. Um, so here's one of the wings here and um, I'm looking at the hinges and how they're assembled and we've got plastic hinges here uh, with rods going down the middle, three per aileron and three per flap. Um, looks to be really good quality. Um, I like the looks of that. So. Um, 
So we have got one lead here, must be for the lights, one for the flap, one for the aileron. So uh, again, this one comes with lights. Um, it looks like it's got something here for leading slats too, but we'll get into that. So I'm going to set this over here, keep moving on. Some more good packing with tape. And uh, yeah, this looks like a wing spar here, my friends. So um, it looks to be about pretty good size, maybe five or six millimeter diameter and um, carbon fiber, not plastic. This is nice. So this is going to be one of our main wing spars, it looks like. Set that aside. Uh, oh yeah, this is, uh, this is the leading edge slats here. Let's open this up. Now this really, really makes the uh, aircraft slow down nice and also um, makes takeoff and landings along with the flaps happen in just a matter of feet. So, uh, yep, that's what we've got here. We have got leading edge slats that go on the front of the wing here. We got two of them. And let's, uh, let's see, this one might be for the right side here. So let me let you have a look at this. So it looks like these will probably get removed and then these will be guided right in. Um, so again, this is designed to give us some lift here. So uh, let me set this aside and keep moving on. So we got the wings, we got the uh, wing spar and the leading slats there. What else do we got here? Okay. Well, they really got this taped up nice. Really nice job packing. So, even if this got bounced around in transport, you are still really safe. Uh, we got some horizontal stabilizers here uh, with our elevator. Um, and these just connect in through the channel. E-Flight's been doing this for a while. They got that down pat. A lot of their warbirds and airplanes do that. Um, hinges on these. Um, we have got some plastic hinges glued in. Three per side, so six total here on the horizontal stabilizer. Uh, looks good to me. Um, we may want to work these back and forth a little bit before we install it. Uh, but I'll tell you right now. I like the quality. Pretty nice. So there's our horizontal stabilizer and elevator. Okay, moving on down. I think the easiest thing to do now is going to be to put the cardboard back on and give her a flip. Because that was everything out of that section. Okay, so turn in the box. 180 degrees, we're going to open it up and see what's on this side. Now also, this airplane has got the PS3X gyro as well as the safe select option. Um, I've recently programmed that in my P47 Razorback and that's a nice thing to have to be able to hit a switch and put this plane in an environment where it only banks up to 20-30 degrees. Uh, they call that safe select. Really nice if you're starting out. Um, we got another wing here. Let's go ahead and have a look at this one. Looks to be the same with the cable for the aileron, one for the flaps, and one for the lights. So, really nice job on this. We got our numbers on here. Um, Again, super nice heavy-duty hinges here. Three for the flap, three for the aileron. Um, this is one of the nicer designs I've seen as far as hinges go on this airplane. Um, super nice. 
Uh, okay, and we've got the red light on this side here. So all the wires I really tucked away nice. I mean, this is going to be a great looking airplane. All right, so this is the other wing. We're going to set it aside. Okay, we're still cooking along here, and uh, wow, look at these donuts. Holy cow. These are our wheels, and um, let's see if I can get a measurement for you. They are, wow, four inch diameter by about inch and a half wide. Look at those bad boys. <laughs> Man, these things can work as floats by themselves. So, um, really nice. They're not rubber. They're actually made of foam here. Well, it's, maybe it's kind of a rubber, uh, kind of like that rubber mat. But either way, really nice. Uh, it's going to make taking off and landing in grass no problem. Uh, so these are the wheels looking good. Be good. Look at those. Uh, I think we got the floats here. Superb. I got to be honest with you. I have never flown a plane off water, and I know I'm missing out because uh, that's got to be a lot of fun. Um, you got the right equipment, and the conditions are right, and you're not uh, disturbing any uh, wildlife. That is a cool thing to do. So, let's have a look at these floats here. Wow. Massive. Absolutely massive. Um, look at the steerable rudders on these things. Uh, I don't even know if that's what they're called, but if they go in the water, are they still a rudder? I know they're controlled by the rudder channel. Uh, let me get you a measurement on these. These things are massive. Okay, so lengthwise on these, goodness, 27 inches, uh, if you include the rudder there, 29 inches, about 5 inches wide, I mean, these, uh, these are massive, this is going to keep this thing afloat no problem, so, one of the floats right here, very nice. Um, this is another one, identical. Um, I'm not going to unpack it because it's going to be the exact same thing for the other side. Uh, nice sticker work on there. Um, stickers sure make it easy to tell which side is the outside and what side is the inside. Okay, well these look like a bag of supports for either the floats or the landing gear. Not sure, but they're made out of what feels to be aluminum or some light metal, definitely not plastic. And like everything else, it is packed up perfect. So if this was getting banged around in delivery, we'll see where that's going to be a problem. If I can get this out for you so you can see it. Plastic and tape, double wound, triple wound, and they finally are coming loose. Okay, so I can show you what we got here. Yeah, um, I got a feeling that these are going to be the cross section braces for the floats. Um, they are made out of what feels to be aluminum, very light. Very robust and sturdy, not bending, flexing at all. Um, can't weigh very much at all. Very nice. Uh, so that's looks like our support braces with floats. We're gonna set those aside. Okay, getting to the good stuff. Yes. Well, really packed well. I mean, everything just makes sense. Everything's fit in here beautifully. Uh, good news here, pulling out the fuselage. I see that we've got our vertical stabilizer and rudder pre-attached, as well as our power system is all pre-attached. I'm going to give you a measurement on this 
crop here in a minute. But it looks to be, by looking at it, something similar to maybe like a 12.6, 12.5, something like that. Wow, very nice. Looks really good. Okay, so beautiful stickers and artwork. Um, I've got a light here that's just a little loose, but it's uh, got a plastic channel here. It's just going to pop right back in. So I will uh, take care of that when I got a minute and some free time. Um, it looks like we have got uh, a steerable tail wheel already on the rudder, three plastic uh, hinges with pins in them for the rudder, um, really robust. Here's our AS3X receiver stabilizer. This also has the uh, safe select option built in, but there's some programming we'll probably have to do to select what switch we want to use for that. Um, really good stuff. Really good stuff. Let me get a measurement out of this prop. It really looks to me, it doesn't say, but it looks to me like it's like a 12.6 or something. Yep, it is 12. The pitch on it looks to be about like a 6, maybe a 7. Um, man, this is a uh, really nice motor in here too. This is the EFLM 10 108018. What is that? That's a uh, that looks like it's probably something similar to a 46 size, um, but beautiful, really nice. There's going to be plenty of power on this one. Um, what do they call it? BL10 brushless. Okay, so this is a Power 10. Um, very similar. 1300 kV. I'm just reading that right off the motor. So 1300 kV on a 3 cell, um, that's going to have plenty of power. That's for sure. Um, that is beautiful. Uh, let me spin this around so you can see it. Everything looks good. The old, this is the first thing I've noticed on here is I just have one little light that's come loose. No big deal. Uh, we have a light up top. This is going to look really good. It's all plugged in. Okay, so that clears out the box. The only thing I have left is the hatch which uh, goes right in for the battery bay and this snaps right in with a push button release. I like that. Very sweet. Um, I'm looking right now at the way these landing gear mount up. Looks pretty robust here with some metal, I don't know what you call them, but they do hinge back and forth. But they're going to be the mounting brackets on here. Looks built pretty well. Uh, the only thing left in the bag is Looks like these are the metal landing gear. So it looks like my uh, these go in here. Um, I'm not sure if this is for the landing gear or if it's for the floats because the gear already have the wheel pants and something here on them. Um, so maybe it's just uh, part of it. Uh, I bet these are the wheel pants and they go inside here. That's probably what happens. So that's it. Everything's out of the box now. That's everything it comes with. Um, make sure when you guys are unpacking yours that you double check and make sure you get everything. If something's come loose, it's going to be somewhere in this box, but um, you'll figure it out. I never throw away these boxes until the plane's built and uh, everything's accounted for. Okay, well I'm going to stick this back in and uh, hope you guys enjoy the unboxing video. I will uh, maybe do a maiden video when Rick decides to take it up in the air. And like I say, with the AS3X on the receiver for stabilization, it's going to be fantastic whether you're going to be flying off the wheels or flying off the floats. Um, the Safe Select, I've had some experience with on the P47 Razor Black back, and it works. You hit a switch, and it really puts it into a nice beginner mode. Uh, makes it great for takeoff and landings. So this is going to have that same technology. Um, this is the bind and fly version, so any DSMX, Spectrum Radio, JR Radio is going to work fine with this. Uh, runs on a three cell, so I'm excited. Looks like a great plane. Thanks for watching.